Hello everyone. Living in a world surrounded by technology is amazing. You can order food without getting up from the couch. <laughs> Clean your apartment without even taking a mop. Get a taxi without a driver. And control your devices with your voice. A dream come true. And those are only the systems that we use every day. Imagine the medical technologies being developed right now. And yet, this incredible progress has a dark side. Welcome door. Wrong voice command. I didn't understand that. Some technologies are not only useful, but can also cause serious harm. However, let's start from the beginning. Let's get it on. 5G kills birds. Sounds scary, right? 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology for digital cellular networks, and it's mostly still under development. But different countries are already testing 5G systems, including the Netherlands. That's where this weird history happened. On November the 5th, 2018, Erin Elizabeth posted a disturbing story from the Netherlands with the headline, Hundreds of Birds Dead During 5G Experiment in The Hague, The Netherlands. The story sounds really creepy. Almost 300 100 starlings fell dead one after another in the middle of a park. If you look around the park, you'll see a 5G antenna installed across the street on the roof of one of the houses. It had to undergo a safety testing at that time. Add up these two facts and you might draw a conclusion. 5G is deadly for birds so it must be a threat to humans as well. But what exactly happened in the park? A series of strange bird deaths did take place indeed. According to an official statement from the municipal government, the birds started dying on October the 19th, 2018. Between that day and November the 3rd, activists found the dead bodies of 337 starlings and two wood pigeons. Experts believe that the birds could have been poisoned. But what about the 5G trials? The test of the new system took place near the park. But notice the date. It happened on June the 28th, 2018, and no birds died at that time. Also, there's no evidence of any other 5G tests in The Hague or other 5G antennas in the area near the park. However, so far, 5G technology has not been studied well enough to draw definitive conclusions. Most likely, the birds' deaths were related to something else. But to what, exactly? The question still remains unanswered. Deepfakes Deepfakes are a well-known technology that use artificial intelligence and deep learning to replace faces in videos. And while it's fascinating and very cool in terms of development, if you think about it, it's pretty creepy. Imagine being able to swap one person's face for another person's face in a high-resolution video. Quiet, now I have to see. There are already ready-made video editors, and they're no more complicated than traditional video software. Such technology can be used for really evil purposes, too. In a society where a video can prove a crime, it's easy to ruin anyone's life using deepfakes. On a global scale, it can lead to political instability and chaos, as people will lose faith in the media. And who can be trusted if any serious proof can be faked even by a school kid with a laptop? Unmanned Vehicles Nowadays, more and more cars have an autopilot mode, also known as driver assistance system, which can easily cope with some typical situations on the road without human involvement. Will they be able to drive safer and tidier than humans on average? Probably yes, especially over time, as car manufacturers learn from their past mistakes and huge amounts of real driving data. But not everything is as great as it might seem at first glance. Anything can happen on the road, including a situation that has never happened happened even to a well-trained car driver. For example, what if the car has to choose between keeping its passenger or a pedestrian alive during an accident? Such ethical dilemmas cannot be solved by humans, not to mention a machine. And don't forget possible hacker attacks. In order to get access to all the functions of the vehicle, the criminals just need to hack the central computer. Once it's done, they can increase the speed, change the destination, or even download the owner's data. All this can have catastrophic consequences. Baby Monitors Parents know that you can't watch your baby 24-7, even if you wanted to.
Fortunately, people have already come up with an excellent invention, baby monitors. At first, it was just a radio device that allowed you to listen to your baby. But as technology evolved over time, today baby monitors not only support video communication, but also Wi-Fi. This makes it possible to watch your child from anywhere. It is very convenient when your baby stays with your relatives or is sleeping while you're not at home. But like many smart devices, modern baby monitors can be hacked. Moreover, it has already happened. Happened. In 2018, Ellen and Nathan Rigney woke up in the middle of the night to a strange signal from their baby monitor. After that, a strange man's voice said that he was going to kidnap their four-month-old son and told them not to turn on the lights. Scared to death, Nathan rushed upstairs to the crib, but the child was sound asleep. There was no one in his room. And this isn't the only case. A couple from South Carolina said that their baby monitor's camera began to move by itself. In 2015, another couple told CBS Minnesota that they'd found pictures of their child on a website with images taken by hacked cameras. But the perpetrators can choose another strategy. If your child is old enough to move around on their own, the perpetrator can use baby monitors to make them open a door, window, or just go to a certain place. And we don't want to think about what might happen next. Who is that? I'm your best friend. Voice recognition. Some time ago, voice recognition was something from sci-fi movies and books. But today, this technology is already a part of our life, and it's used everywhere. Even smartphones can recognize their owner's voice and distinguish them from other people. Well, at least they're trying. Also, some banks and other organizations use similar methods of identification. They use voice prints to improve customer service. Since voice is a unique way to identify customers, they can avoid answering questions and don't have to remember any passwords. It's really simple. You just say a certain phrase and you can do whatever you need to do with your money. Perfect. Door. Access denied. God of Thunder. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Point Break. Welcome, Point Break. <laughs> But this leads to a different problem. Criminals can copy your voice. We're not even kidding. These technologies already exist today, right now. And criminals just need a small fragment of your speech and a special software that literally clones your speech. But the worst part is that the person usually doesn't know that their voice was stolen. Imagine the situation. Someone pulled your credit card out of your wallet. Would you notice it? Of course. Which means that you'll be able to take action in time. But if your voice has been stolen and and used, you can't just trace its use and all the consequences of that theft. Maybe the criminals gain access to your personal bank information, or they've talked to your family or employers. The possibilities are really endless, and it's scary. The ability of artificial intelligence to clone a voice may very soon become a real problem for everyone. Advanced Robots Stories about sophisticated robots getting out of control and turning against mankind have been around for more than a century. Remember Terminator and his many sequels, for example. However, despite the fact that many people are outright scared of robots, engineers keep developing them. And they create not just funny toy robots or mechanical hands that simplify production processes. Today, there are already devices that could take up arms to start a war against humanity. Take the Boston Dynamics robots, for example. Once they were bulky, unstable structures, but today they can do things that most people can't, like performing acrobatic tricks or standing still even after heavy kicks. And by the way, are you aware that Boston Dynamics robots have learned not only to overcome obstacles such as stairs or barriers, but also to open doors? Yes, now you can't hide from them just by running away to another room. There is still a long way to go before the machines revolt, and maybe robots don't want to take revenge on people for all those kicks and pushes at the development stage. And sometimes, these smart androids that make human life easier are very friendly. But a robot is just code, and it can always 
just be reprogrammed. Just imagine, the manufacturer convinces you that the electronic assistant collects information about you to work better. Meanwhile, the robot has already passed the collected data to a third party, and in the best case scenario, the information will only be used to show you more relevant ads online. But there are other possible outcomes. Robots that spy on their owners, hackers blackmailing you, and the end to privacy. Mind reading devices. At some point, devices capable of penetrating into the human consciousness could only be found in the works of fiction writers and movie directors. Once people found out how complicated the brain was, they realized that it was almost impossible to read minds. And yet, there's some technology under development. Back in 2017, scientists created a device that reads people's thoughts through their brain waves. According to researchers, this could lead to the creation of an easily operated machine that would be connected to smartphones. And we don't even have to wait long. Such a device could be built in the following years. But why? Why would anyone want their thoughts to be read? Aren't they, well, personal? Well, the device can help people with disabilities, for example, those who've lost the ability to speak because of a stroke. One small implant would give a person so many opportunities. It can also be used as a telepathic typewriter, which automatically records what we think. No more having to open your notes or looking for paper to write down an idea. The device would do everything for you. It will transmit people's thoughts through an electronic speaker or a typing device. The exact technology has not yet been determined but scientists are working on it. But will this device really only be useful for peaceful purposes? Of course, there is nothing to be afraid of at the early stages. While the mechanisms aren't working properly and only used to rehabilitate patients, will be safe until the technology is sufficiently compact and easy to handle to be used against the will of people. Naturally, this will be of interest to the military, who may start conducting really dangerous experiments. Who knows? And what if a mind-reading device ends up in the wrong hands? We don't like thinking about it, to be honest. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.